Okay, you have a topic and a research question. What's next? Oh, the actual research. So today we're going to look at figuring out the keywords that will get you what you need. So what do you need? You have a biggish topic and research question, but your paper will have to have three to four subtopics. You will need keywords for each of those subtopics. A good place to start is with your tertiary sources. Events usually have timelines and encyclopedias are a great place to find that. This example is about the modern Belts and Roads initiative that China is doing with many other nations. It is often compared to the ancient Silk Road and many of the locations are the same. The Belts and Road initiative is based on opening trade routes by assisting other countries with building ports, harbors, railroads, and airports to facilitate the movement of trade goods. Since the ancient and modern Silk Roads are a huge subject, we need to narrow it down. This article is going to be about trade, so that is our first narrowing place. We are not going to talk about culture or religion or people. We are only going to look at trade and trade routes. Now, head over to Wikipedia or another encyclopedia. I know you can't use it as a resource because it is a tertiary source, but it does give good overview, and the table of contents is like a list of possible subtopics. The next video is all about extracting good keywords from Wikipedia, so this one is only going to touch on it a bit. Open the article or articles most closely related to your topic. First, it's going to introduce you to the key players and events in a pretty well-organized manner. Read them making a list of the main points you want to cover in your paper. This is a list of your keywords and a list of your subtopics. In essence, what you have here is the foundation of your outline. Looking through the main topics, four main routes in ancient times were called the Silk Road. One last subtopic covers the plans for modern routes. Notice the research question is at the top of the page. Keeping it close helps you focus on it. Let's look at the keywords that come just from the Wikipedia reading. The worst are expressions like early trade routes or ancient trade routes. Those will create thousands of hits from all over the world. Terms like Silk Road with no modifiers are pretty generic, but by using it, you might come up with some great maps. With a topic like this, maps will be important. You might want to wait to use something general like this until you're familiar with your topic and would be able to ignore findings just by glancing at the title. Our next four are directly related to the ancient aspect of the trade routes, and the last is a modern expression. Again, it is pretty generic and would lead to hits that have nothing to do with trade. You would want to combine it in a Boolean search with other terms. Remember the video in Module 1.4 about Boolean modifiers. Having specific keywords is the best way to get directly to the information you need. Here we see Boolean operators limiting the search to both String of Pearls and Silk Road. We also see the dates limited to 2018 to 2022. Sometimes older material is appropriate, and other times you want the most current. It is also limited to academic journals only. These types of searches also find books, newspapers, trade journals, and even art or images. 21 results is a pretty reasonable number of articles to look through. Be sure you identify specific keywords for each of your subtopics. The more generic something is, the harder it is to be sure it's what you are looking for. If you need any help, contact a librarian.